ni canso For the Greek audience, you have many fans here, many people who longed to see you playing live. How was it? Well, what is funny that uh, it's not the first time I play in your country. I know. I start to, uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I start to play in 1974 here. And uh, up to Salonique, and it looks like uh, uh, the country they like Manu. Yeah. So each here will come at least one day, two day, two days to perform, and always there is a big audience. So uh, what can I say? I'm very happy about that. <laughs> South Africa, Lord, on the, tour. The, yeah, on well, the tour. Yeah, long tour up to uh, Mozambique. Mm -hmm. You see? And uh, within two weeks, I'm going back to Cameroon. There's no problem for us to tour in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. But we don't live in Africa. There's people like Yusundu, he lives in Africa. Uh, Salif Keita, he lives in Africa. The late. Uh, Fela was living in Nigeria. Some of us live in Africa, some of us living outside of Africa. Richard Bona is living in New York. Something like that. And what are the links, the connections between the African musicians and the Afro American musicians? First, Africa is not a country, it's a continent. Yeah. So there are many Africa, it's like Europe, Greece is not, is not France, it's not Italy, it's not Spain. But you are in Europe. Okay? Where where, where is the common link in Europe? It's the same thing in Africa. Um, those who like the music, we we used to see each other, each other and play each other with no problem. Long time ago, I did the album we call Waka Africa. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And then I invite I invite lot of artists to have uh, this uh, traveling all over Africa from Dakar to Cape Town. But this is an artist's privilege because the reality is that there are many countries, there's politics, yeah. but beside the politics, there's music. Are there any elements, any common elements in Africa? The common music? element is uh, maybe the rhythm. Or what? The rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> because of language huh? mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the inside is that uh, um, all of us we go in the same way for in the music through the music but with elements different coming from different parts of Africa People living in the north of Sahara, they are different from people living in the south of Sahara because the climate, a lot of things. Did you come up with the idea of mixing the traditional elements of your music with the Western music ones and create your own fusion sound? Was it uh, like an idea or something that uh, came up naturally? No, that's it. It was naturally. Why? Because I start in music by going to church, right? Mm. Like a lot of musicians, they start by church. And fortunately, my mother, she was conducting a choir, huh? we are Protestant. So very, by five, six, I went to the, the church and I like it. I knew I like the music. Other people, they like uh, soccer, other people like, uh, see, I like music. She like music. Okay, so we are, uh, all the African people usually have at least two cultures the original one and the western one. To combine it is a matter of personal way to approach life. Mm -hmm. I have both because I live in it both uh, culture. So to, to me it's natural to do what I'm doing. I'm not singing, I'm going to write because I'm an African. I am going to write because, no, I sing. That's my natural way to approach the music. Yeah. There's no frontier. In music, there's a, a frontier between human people. La grand-mère a préparé un poisson aromatique avec du bon fufu, sauce coco, manapi. A number like uh, Sol Makosa is what artists they call a lucky number, hmm. all right? Because 
you are not going to steal you to say, okay, today I'm going to do. No. I'm going to create a masterpiece. You play a lot of music and people, they stop in one music. They say, this is the music. It's not you. You do Sol Makosa like you do in the New Bell, you do in Suaro Village. And very funny, at the same years, in January, February 72, I uh, record Sol Makosa. But in September, I record other albums, success, very successful, nothing to do with Sol Makosa. Eh? There were churchy music, there was a uh, uh, music going by uh, another way with soprano sax, mm -hmm. uh, Oboso, the album called Oboso with a lot of uh, standard there, eh? uh, really nothing to do. So uh, th that was uh, lucky here, but uh, people decide that, uh, okay, Solma Kosa is the number, it's not you. You must just be happy that it happened to you. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> How do you explain that this single appeared at the same time to both the African people and the Americans? That's why they call it standard. Yeah. Voilà. No more, no less. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Black Mountain Movement. Music is an element of unity, spiritually speaking. And uh, after 50 music, we have 50 years in music. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should ask you about future plans. You are still active and productive. Uh, is there anything you haven't done yet and you wish to do oh, in the future? Oh, So I'm thinking, I don't think it's it for right. yesterday, I'm thinking for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to have yesterday, I'm happy to see what I'm going to do tomorrow. It's your long future. Beyond. Well, that's it, up to the end. Uh, by the way, when the end is coming, you don't know, because you're not anymore there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank to you each of you eh, for attention. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm going to ask you these questions in English. Uh -huh. Nobody speaks French here. We are no, I sorry. understand that. <laughs> it's a bit difficult for us. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, but uh, we are let's sorry. go. We are, we are, we are going. sorry for that. Hey, we are going to try. Thank to you speak so much for accepting us and for giving this interview to our radio station. You're welcome. Society. 